we're ending the year out and it's been a crazy year. You know, Matthew had his transplant in June and it spent a few months in the hospital. Thinking back, it's amazing how far we've come uh, from where we were. And then to find our donor, find out who he is and, and his whole story and his whole life has definitely been a huge blessing for us. And now we are here at Christmas time and it's the, the welcomed chaos, but yet still Matthew having occasional surgeries. Um, his labs last week were excellent. And then yesterday his labs are now very elevated and that's something we're always gonna have to deal with. <laughs> it's tough to let your guard down because you know he'll stumble and fall and be a typical child and then break an arm. And that's another thing that's been very challenging is trying to let him become a little boy, but yet a little boy who we would love to wrap in bubble wrap and keep his safe and protected as much as possible. Matthew's in the way now and I don't want him to get kicked. And your lunch is ready. This is the first year that we've had time together where we're actually able to decorate. You know, we got a tree and we actually put ornaments on the tree. Presents are under the tree. It's something that we've been able to enjoy. And it's also his first Christmas to where we've been able to do that. And so it brings the rest of us a lot of excitement and joy just watching him experience it for the first time. It's definitely a reminder to us about what it's all about and the magic of Christmas and the the children who get to enjoy it. We're having a lot of people still coming through and with the positive wishes and the, the prayers and that whole goodwill towards man, it's something that we've experienced quite a bit over the last few months and it continues through this day. So to us, it's that magic has uh, continued through since the beginning. Everybody has their own, their own balance, their own journey, their own battles to, to fight through. And I think that if you could just bear down, get through them, try to find the positive in it, try to find something where there is a lesson learned or something you can do, some little thing to hold on to, to give you hope, then I think that that is the biggest thing. And so many people, they just want to help and they just need to be led into the right direction. So that's what we focus on now, is to try to find ways that people can help and to help keep us in the giving back. Because this whole thing has always been so much greater than, than us.